Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Transport Fever. So, this is our actual, actually our second episode. Last episode, we got a whole bunch of lines set up here. And we're, as you can see, we are in the green. I'll bring up the budget panel here. Uh, I stuck around for a little bit after the last episode and got the loan cleared off, so we don't owe a penny. We got half a mil in the bank. As you can see, we're making about two million a year, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, I've been looking around trying to figure out where I want to go next and I've been thinking about trying to get Ma uh, Masham into the, the loop and I haven't really thought about how far out I want to go like I know I d definitely have to bridge this gap here eventually that's definitely going to help out uh, Porth Aven there, Porth Levin and eventually get down here and we can utilize all this farmland. Uh, but what I'm going to do with Masham here is we have this refinery here and we have this oil field here. Now, I've got the passenger station here. Uh, what I plan on doing is having the truck come down this way and then go through here. At the refinery, it's going to be a two-track station. Uh, one track is going to be going from the refinery over to the oil field and I'm going to try to utilize as much of this track as I can while I'm doing that and then the passenger line is going to be going sp splitting into a single single track as it passes through the station it won't be stopping it'll just pass through the freight station and then continue on over to here and then I'm going to have another freight station at this end right over here at the industrial area that is going to continue on this line as well so we'll be able to get the passengers dropping off here, the freight dropping off here, and I'm gonna, it's actually gonna be two trains, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna have one train going back and forth from the, from the refinery and the oil, field, uh, oil field. So this train is always gonna be making money. It's gonna be dropping off oil, it's gonna be picking up fuel, bringing it back over to here. There is gonna be a road depot here, and I will set up another ro road depot over here, and that will deliver the all the fuel over to the industrial areas. So in that way, it just saves on the train. It's a short distance, so if we get 10 or 12, we'd probably be getting a Studebaker's pretty soon, so we we'll have to use those to our advantage. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so we can get a little bit more money. And yeah, and then we'll go from there, and then I'm just going to have another short little train running back and forth between these two. And so we'll definitely get Masham going through, and then I was thinking about trying to get up to Louis here, too. Uh, don't not much up that we could really use at the moment. Uh, one of the things about this, and this is something that I tend to not do, is to think ahead, right? Like, yes, I, all of these resources are sort of out of the way, but once you get all the passenger lines laid down, hey, we got the general. And once you get all the passenger lines laid down, then you can have trains using those tracks. You're not paying extra maintenance. And... And whatnot. Anyways, so what do we got here? We got 736. So let's uh, let's actually crank this up so we can get some more money in. So uh, what I want to do, I do not want an article. I want rail. We are going to get a freight station. Now, I don't know where the catchment is going to be on this. I think we might have to actually go to road. Yes, that was the right button. Thank God. And trying to think here really should go over top but look at the land it'd be better to go around this way so now one of the things I've been noticing with this uh, catchment area and I'll show you slow this down a little bit we don't want to lose too much time uh, I'll go to the road depots here and I'll show you at the truck stop if you pay attention to the actual roads you'll see that the uh, uh, industry will change. First it'll go white right there. It's not technically in range. Go a little more. And there it changes. See how it goes brighter? That's where it needs to be. You go here and they're not going to use it. Which I find kind of odd, but eh, we work around with it. So then that means that the rail station here is actually going to grab it. So we'll drop that there. And we'll drop another one over here. Actually that's going to be upgraded. It's got to be, uh, let's see, one or two. You know, let's make it three. Just because so, just we're going to have multiple lines going through here. Uh, what's probably going to happen is I'll probably have the passenger line coming across the top here. 
and the other ones will go up to the bottom. I don't think it really matters too much. Now we got another rail station over here. Uh, this could be a single. And again, this has to be, should be in a proper catchment area. Let's see if we can get a little bit of road down just to there. Let's see how that does. So it's in, but it's obstructing. Yeah, I'm gonna get curved. There we go. Sure. Just for the hell of it, let's make a make a U-turn. Now does that have full? I think it does. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. See, it's gotta be right there. All right. Damn, it's just gonna have to. It's just gonna have to go like this then. Look at that. Just reaches. Now, please tell me. No line usage. Oh yeah, because I think it has to update. And it's showing full. So yeah, we should be good. All right, now we got a few more over here. Two, look at that, two million. We're not even doing anything. All right, this is another freight station, so this one's got to go over here. And that's going to cover all our industrial. Now we go for passengers. Now for the passengers, it passengers, it doesn't really matter where it goes, because there's going to be bus routes connecting everything, right? It's... Actually, not, that's not the road button. Let's just continue that to there. And like so. Do a little bit of road work for them. Okay. So now we have all our train stations. Now we just gotta lay some rails. Alright, I'm using that line, so I wanna come off it here. And try to figure out exactly where I'm going. See, I want to sort of have the branch off point somewhere around here. I'm not too worried about how much money I spend because we're making so much money right now. It's just amazing. But it doesn't mean we have to spend it like there's no tomorrow. There we go over here. Uh, let's see, this is the passenger line, so that one will go there. And there we, there we double it up, branch it all the way. Well, not branch it, twin it. And yeah, we'll just go in like so. Okay. Spending money and still making money. That's awesome. All right, so now for this one. I might have to redo this road. Oh, maybe not. Let's see, where's this gonna go? Oh yeah, I was gonna share the lines. Oh well, they can share the terrain. Go up to here, and... Just like so. This one's gonna be a money maker for sure. Oh, there you go. And this one goes all the way over here. I really like how that they have that implemented. Okay, so there's our fuel line, and or our main fuel line. Okay, so the passengers have to go down. Oh, we're going to be crossing over by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's cross over. Why not? All right, go there. This one is going to be our fuel service. Feeding that hungry industry. Let's see which side should I go on. Let's go on the outside. Nope, we're not making any money right now. 
looks like he's been spinning too much. And there we go. Now signals. Signals galore. Bang, 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 bang. Oops, there we go. Actually, that one's in the wrong spot. They're gonna get confused. Sure. All right, now, now the fun part, we got all these signals we gotta do here. So we're gonna have both sides like that. That's where it gets tricky. And I know I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, you gotta have those signals or you're gonna have a lot of problems. You know it's gonna have them in the right spots too. And now we do this. And one more here, and just because. Just to spend the money. Now we gotta get a deep one here. No, we don't. We gotta get that passenger rail in. Okay, passengers are on the top. So, let's bring this to here. We'll cross over. And I will have to make sure to put a signal on, uh, like signals in proper spots on here, or we're gonna, we're gonna have some hybrid trains. That's all I'm gonna call them. And there we go, and then we'll come off the outside on this one. And that will be this station. Look at that, two million now. We might have to take out a bit of a loan. Let's speed this up so we get a few more bucks. Uh, just because we're going to have to buy... We're going to need two trains here at least. It's going to be time to upgrade trains eventually, but we're going to need at least two, at least two trains here for the passengers. Two trains for the refinery. Another tra train or two for this side. And then we got to get the depot set up for the trucks so let's get a few more signals in so let's see where do we have to put these there and there there and there there and there and there and there sure they'll figure it out the other ones paid to drive the trains I just built the trucks okay so now now we need to get our truck stops and I'll also put this one right across from the station. And then we'll put another one. Where is our industrial? Over here. And there's a nice little spot for right there. Oh, and you're not going to snap. There you go. Ha. It fit. Now we got a... Uh, oh, I do have a depot here, so... Let's get, what do we got? Horse wagons. I'm gonna need fuel. Doesn't really matter which one. This one's probably. Yeah, we we'll get these. We we'll get that six. Yeah, we'll do six. All right, now I'm gonna set those on to uh, Newark fuel. All right, that is going to be from there to there, and the fuel lines will make them red, just so we know. All right, so that's going. Close that. We'll get an, another passenger line set up. Let's go ahead and set this up. This is going Newark to, that was Masham, I do believe. Newark to Masham. I want a train station, a bus stop, come on. There we go. All right, let's set that to dark green, and this is Newark 
Másom. Tehát másom. I spelled that right, I hope. No, I didn't. Mash. Okay, and then we can leave those load and unload. Uh, one of the things I did want to do was to get about... Let's keep an eye on one of these towns. Let's go to Saffronwald in here. So our population is 456. So we'll come back there in like 10, 15 years. Look at that population is going up and see how big the town is. Okay, so now we got to get our fuel line set up. So we'll go ahead and make a new line. We're going from here to here. It's going to be technically Newark oil. Oil. Did I spell that right? No, I didn't. There we go. I did, just wrong capitalization. Uh, oil. Hmm. Should be black. Should be black, but I don't know if we'll see it or not. But we will. All right. Oil lines are black. Uh, technically, it's going to be fuel, too, but whatever. And this will be mash fuel. And that one will be red. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to make sure that's not going to pick up where it shouldn't be picking up. And I think we are good to go. So now we got to buy some trains. Look at that, 5 million. Nice. Okay, I'm going to pause things here just so nobody gets confused. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to get these the station in here. So I got a bit of a nest here. So I also have to make sure that they can come from both directions into the depot. I do have a depot here. That's a road depot, never mind. Ideally, the best place to put it would be right here. So you can take two off of there. This is where it gets tricky because you have to, if you have to send a train back to a, a depot for whatever reason to sell it or if you want to add cars, you got to make sure they can get there without getting lost. So let me do a quick cut here and I'll figure something out. Okay, I finally got something here. It's not pretty, but I basically did what I was talking about doing. Let me turn the lines off here you can, so you can see this this mess. <laughs> at, least, at least the trains know where they're going. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's not making any money because it has nothing to pick up. So now I'm just going to throw a few more signals on and we'll go buy some trains. Uh, it's a good thing I paused it too because I had to rebuild this road. As you can see, it was an absolute nightmare. But let's see here. So we got signals there. That's good. Uh, let's just for the sake of it, put signals there just in case. I'm sure it's going to cause a big headache having all these signals around. Oh well. And there. Alright, let's start making some money. So, the first train is going to be going Masham to Newark for the first set of trains. So I've got eight small cars on there. So we'll go ahead and buy a bald one. Eight of these. Eight. Okay, we'll clone that and we'll set those on Newark Masham. So I'm going to have to do the same thing I did last time. This one here, I'm going to have to stop until this one gets about halfway. And while we're doing that, okay, stop. Now we got to buy some other trains. We got to get these guys going. Um, I think this one here is going to be a hefty line, so I might have to get three trains going on that. 
Okay, that's just arriving there now. So I'll buy another Baldwin, and what do we have for tankers? We got that one, and we have this one. Almost better to have these. Sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, should we go two more? No, nah, that'll be fine. Okay, you can go. So just he's leaving right now. And we'll clone it. And then we'll set both of these on Newark Oil. They're gonna start making us money. And same thing, I will stop the second train when he comes out. As soon as this guy passes that signal, he will start rolling out. There you are, I'll stop you for now. Okay, now I need to get this line going. And I think this one, we're just going to be a couple of smaller trains. So one of those, and I think five. Nope, not enough money. How many have I got? I have five. Good. Probably should do six. Uh, yeah, let's just do one more. And I should have enough to clone it. And there we go. So he is leaving oil now. Okay, you can go. And now these two, we will go on mash and fuel. And then same thing with this one. As soon as he passes the signal, I'll stop the other one. I'll stop him right now. And look at that, we just got six trains up and running. Was it six, two, four, six? Yes. Okay. And then when he gets there, I'm going to let this guy go. Oh, look at that, he's got... That guy's taking oil already. Alright, I'll let you go. How much? You got nobody yet. Oh, that's what we forgot. No, we do have a bus service over there. Do we actually need more buses? Stagecoaches, whatever. We seem to be okay, but we do need to get some sort of transport over here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and place a couple of bus stops. Okay, we need one here, one there, and put one here. I do not have a road depot. I thought I saw an error there. They were having an issue. Okay, and now I'll just hide this one in this guy's backyard. He won't know it's there. And what do we need? Four. How many we got in the other ones? Six. Alright. And we got the Borsig. That's the first bigger one we get. Oh. I gotta set a line. Uh, get out of my way. There and there. This would be Masham. Trend. Sit. And we will do that yellow. Just like the rest of them. And there we go. So we are rolling. And we're still making money. That's how you know you're getting at a good point in this game. When you can go and shell out six million and still have money. And I haven't touched my loan yet. Look at that. Burglar Marsh. Burglar Marsh. Saffron is making one million right now. 1.7 on Port 11. Which is why it'd be a really good idea to branch Port 11 over to Stratford. That'd be a nice stop to go to next. So how is this refinery doing? It's doing good. How is the oil field? Uh, gonna get increased production. So are these trains leaving full? No. But we might have to get another train out there. Just because that that field there in this refinery is going to be supplying for sure these two. We might try to get this oil oil field up to the refinery as well, but it's not needed at the moment. 
All right, so we got 1.3 million. Now the next step, where do we go from here? So we've got that passenger line all the way around here. And we got about 2 million. Where did I put the station here? Oh, how expensive is that going to be? Because if we ex extend this, we're going to have to take those buildings out. But I think it'd be worthwhile. Just because these guys are going to get connected to here, and Port Love is just going to start making a whole bunch more money. So what's going on here? We have so many people traveling. It's good. We're making money. Still not yet. Oh, they're at full production right now. How's that train doing? 34. You know what? Let's be preemptive about this. Let's buy another train. I want to buy these bald ones until I can't buy them anymore because uh, the Borsig's a little more expensive. So we'll try to keep it cheap as long as we can. And where did I have? Eight. Okay. And I'll put that on New York Oil. Now, actually, I wanted to see this. See if the trains actually bring you back fuel. It is. Good. I want to make sure of that. Because those two trains, or these three trains, are making money every trip. Like, look at this. It just started already. It's made a couple hundred thousand. But it's nothing like those passenger lines. All right. No, that's an autosave. Well, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to try to get down over here. The problem is we've got this mountain in the way. Actually, that's the problem right there. It's up on a mountain. And really, the best way to get to it, like, we'd have literally have to loop around and come up the side of the mountain like this. Trying to go up this way, it's too steep right here. But something like this we could do. Which isn't going to work because the travel time, it's, it's just going to lose money. So we're going to have to hold off on that one for now, I think. What we could do, though, oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh, silly me. Got to take out some houses. And I'm going to have to bring uh, this line up. Actually, no, we could we could loop around this side. Won't be that big of a deal. But then if we could do that, we could just go straight to Berwick over here. Or Ripon, even. Ripon would be an interesting, good one. Come down here. And then I was actually thinking about crossing over to Saffron here. And then get get a loop going. God, these trains are just packed. Now I'm gonna have to set these things to replace. Let's uh what line is that? Saffron Burglar Marsh. Burglar Marsh Saffron. Actually we could probably just use more trains. Where is the depot? There's the depot. Now what do I have on there? I have eight of the cars. Get one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you go on to Burglar Marsh Saffron. Okay, and now let's go Port 11. And you just left, and there's 60 people waiting there. So that means we gotta buy another train. And go ahead and add that. And eight of those. Seven. If you can't, don't want to count, you can always look here. It'll tell you exactly how many cars you have there. All right, eight. And we will set that on to Port 11. No, 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 no. There we go. And he will make his way down here eventually. 
and start making us lots of money. Let's look at this. We got like 100, 100 people waiting at the station right now. That is good. But anyways, I think... Let me check the recording time on this one. Yeah, we got a little bit of time left. We're about half an hour right now. I don't know if you guys want to see longer or shorter videos. Uh, just let me know. But let's go ahead and just get ripping in here. Get a get a ripping, right? Yes. All right. Now I also have to keep an account that we're gonna try to get over to there eventually. Uh, travel time's important too, so let's put the station right over here. I am on passenger. Yes. I'm gonna switch that to two tracks. All right, and we get some bus station or bus stops. One there and. Sure, one there. We need a road depot. And there. Okay. Buy some stage coaches. Two, three, four, five, six. Set line, new line. And there and there. And this is rip on. Ripon transit. Change color that to yellow. Okay, those guys are going. I should wait till after I got the tracks laid, but whatever. Look at that, four million. I don't know where all this money's coming from. Actually, I do look at that green right across the board, except for the ones I just placed. Oh yeah. Now for our first bridge, second bridge, second bridge. Holy jeez. What's going on here? Okay, well, we're going to have to get a few more trucks running. That's not it. There. Or horse wagons. Uh, set those on to Newark Fuel. Get out there, make some money. Okay, that is at the station. I thought the oil was over here for some reason. Okay, uh, what were we doing? We were building. We were building another railroad. We were gonna make some more money. Did I not upgrade that? Okay, pause, please. Even though I had that hot key, I don't know why I didn't. Okay, we'll upgrade you to two platforms. Oh well, why'd you go and build your house there? Fine. Had to. Okay, connect that. Oh, that's not going there. Like so. And this is going down to ripping. I don't know if I want to have any access to that oil field yet on this line, anyways. Oh, that got expensive. Where are we going? We are going over the hills and through the woods to grandmother's house as we go. No. Oh, let's make a long bridge. Oh, it's just stra straining. I wonder. Oh, it does cost four. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. You could just go flat water or flat across. Sort of like a like a dike. Not that kind of dike. And we'll go on to that one. And we'll go on that inside. Or this. I guess I can't even say south because I have absolutely no, which way, no idea which way I got the map rotated right now. Come on, connect. Yes, bridges are expensive. That's ah, okay, we got the money. And then what I'll have to do is I'll have to get another depot set up, and I think I'll get it set up on on the other side of Ripon, just because we will need to get trains there eventually. 
All right, and signals. One, two. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Oops. Double shots. Except for the fact I moved too far away from the track, so I can't do it fast enough. And two more there just for good show. All right, now let's go get another line set up. Do that there to there, and this will be mash him to ribbon. Mash him dash ribbon. And do that. That green, and there she be. We have transit there. We have train and now we just gotta get a train on the track and i was gonna get a depot on this side here and I, what i might do is get in a little bit get this out of my way so we're gonna have to see what i'm doing and we'll do that and i like it too when you when you spur off like that that Mouse will actually stop at the right spot to line up with it. Okay, so I'll just go like that. Connect that, and then I'm just going to have one going up to the deep one. I'll just branch off when it's time to add the other, the other line. Okay, let's buy a couple of trains. One of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clone that and set them on mash and ribbon. Hooray, we're making more money. And of course, I do have to stop this train. Stop you. You're going to mash them first. Good. All right, how's our financial situation doing? Looking great. Yeah, all the other times I played this game, more or less, it was always red. Red, 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 red. And it sort of tends to be like a snowball effect. Okay, where are you? You're on the bridge. So what hap What I find happens is you get oversaturation of goods. And then the, the industries slow down. When the industries slow down, the trains aren't carrying as much as they should. So they're not making as much money as they should. I've seen... I've seen sawmills producing four or five, six hundred, all of a sudden just go flat, and then I'd have like six trains that are dead in the water. Not necessarily dead in the water, but they're moving, but they're not making money. Okay, you go. So how are we doing here? 127 now, nice. Very nice. Oh, they're going to be upgrading too soon. That's really good. Let's go check on uh, Saffron here. Look at that. It's gone up 30 people. Jobs are going up. That's good. Now, from what I know, uh, these stats, the higher you have these to 100%, the more that it's going to grow. So if I meet all these requirements for jobs, produce enough fuel, machines, and construction materials... That will help the jobs show up, uh, help the industry start showing up, and that's how these come in. And same with the, the, sh the shopping, the commercial. Uh, you start bringing in tools and food and consumer products into the city, then the com uh, commercial areas will increase, and then, of course, connect passenger lines and more residential areas grow. So that's how it it's kind of like SimCity, but it's not you're causing growth, but on a different level. And that's what's really good about it. And it's not making any money yet. Got two people on board right now, but that's okay. Because we're making our money everywhere else. Holy jeez, five million. I haven't even touched a loan yet. Well, I have, but been loan free since 58. That was good. So yeah, we're, I think we're going to call this one here. I think the next step, like I said, might be to get Ripon connected to Saffron Walden. And then maybe we'll make an attempt at getting up to Stratford here.
Let's have a look at this slide again. Coming up this side wouldn't be too bad. I think I might be able to come across this way. We do have the Borsigs now, so they do have a little bit more power. Right, like we have uh, 90, 90 kilowatts, I guess, and that's what it is. And 25 kilonews of traction there, and this one has got less traction but higher power, so this might actually be better to go up there. Or we could spend the money and go on the generals. But the generals, again, you're dealing with higher cost, and when you're dealing with a trip going up here, you're spending a lot of time. The more time you spend, the less money you make. And this oil refinery is going crazy. And they're going to be upgrading production again. God, I'm going to have to get more trains running. This isn't bringing back as much fuel as I thought it would. Like, what is going on here? That's why there's too much of a backlog there, I think. But that's fine. If there's a stock pilot station, that's not a problem. That means there's always money to be made. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.